when I was a kid, I used to just grab my toys, place the camera down, and just clash them together like they were fighting or, you know, doing whatever. But I used to watch these videos and people were making their toys move on their own. I'm like, yo, how is this possible? Like, how are they doing that? And that's when I learned what stop motion was. I remember my first stop motion back in 2011. And ever since then, it's just been a huge, huge part of my life. It's kind of hard to believe that I've been doing this for almost 12 years now. And now I try to uh, take what I've learned from each video and see how I can improve it in the next one. You know, I love making these stop motions and these, all these animations, but making stop motions could be a very, very long process. Hurry up, Will Jack. We're gonna get called. No need to worry about me. I created a device that would notify me when someone is heading our way. You see, look, I'm done. All right, let's get out of here. You worry too much, my friend. Now we got important information without even being caught. Ah, oh, scrap. <laughs> Looks like the device didn't work. Once I get an idea for the type of video I want to make, I start writing a script. Then, once I'm happy with the story, I start to set up. First, I used to just put my figures in front of the camera and just start them. But now I actually take the time to design sets. To make things easier for myself, I use the stop motion app to film. I use my phone as the camera and I connect it to the app on my iPad. And here is where I take photos and change the setting. Depending on how long the scene is, filming could take about 30 minutes or it could take days. I mainly work in Premiere Pro and I use After Effects so I need to add special effects that I can't make in Premiere. Here I add in the voice lines, sound effects, special effects, and music. I think editing is my favorite part because it's nice to see it all come together and it gets me pumped up to release the project. <laughs> all that sounds fun. <clears throat> I mean, all that sounds fun, but creating stop motions is far from easy. It takes a lot of patience, and I mean a lot of patience. Like I said, filming stop motions take a lot of patience. You're making a film one frame at a time you're gonna mess up. There is not always gonna go according to plan. The shot that you have may not look the best. You might just start all the way over. And even on the post-production side, your program might not work properly. That happened to me years ago. Uh, the program I was using at the time, uh, which was Windows Movie Maker, uh, I was editing a uh, stop motion and just it just would not work with me. Uh, every time I tried to export it, the file would be corrupt. And I just got so frustrated. I was like, all that time I spent filming it, it's just now going to waste. I don't know how to fix this. And honestly, I, I wanted to give up. I thought about giving up. But after taking some time off, I downloaded a new program and I got back to work and eventually I got that episode out. You know, I was gonna say this to animators and filmmakers in general, but this applies to any profession and to anybody. There are going to be tough days and things may not go according to plan, but you just can't give up, especially if something you're passionate about. All you got to do is just keep pushing forward. <laughs> I can't wait to tear you both apart. These walls will be painted with your blood. Wow, that wasn't creepy at all. You ready for this, Venom? Yeah! Let's finally get rid of this guy! <laughs> the stop motion community on YouTube is 
huge and it just continues to grow every single day. Um, you know, I have my own way of creating stop motions and how I write and work. And honestly, while doing this project, I wanted to find out how other people get their work done. So I contacted two mutual animators and I asked them questions. Um, I had a lot of toys growing up, so I wanted to find a way to actually like do something with them. And uh, I didn't really have the passion for like storytelling. I, I guess you say I can't, I did, but it didn't come into like writing form until like middle school time. So I guess you could say it was more the accessible, like it was more accessible for me. Like I could just download an app and then take my toys and just move them around and stuff like that. So it was more accessible and um, it was just really cool actually, just like seeing it all come together at the end, so. Uh, well, it was, I had stop motion always within my grasp, within the entertainment that I consume, uh, mostly through like James and the Giant Peach and a couple other movies like uh, Tim Burton films. And I didn't understand what it was, truly what it was. I'm like, okay, this is like cartoons, but like weird and three not understanding like, no, these are practical puppets and sets and everything like that to give you the, the emotion taken frame by frame to give you the life that you see in this movie. But I didn't make that connection until my little brother, uh, Gregory, he put me onto this uh, this YouTube channel. This is back in like 06, 07. And it was General Lee versus Jazz. That, that was the, 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 the stop motion. So you know what I'm talking about. I, that, that inspired one. me too. Yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> yeah, I know exactly. So, yeah, Patrick Boyvin made this uh, this video with the Transformers, and you knew these were toys, and you were able to see the process. Like, hey, these are the the different scales; they're in completely different scales. And seeing that, and seeing how they were composited in to be within you know within range of Transformers fighting, not like a fifty foot versus a, a fourteen foot. It, it was it was that type of discrepancy, and then being able to composite that in, and then show frame by frame, like, hey, my hands are in this. But I'm cutting it out. I'm tracing it out. I'm getting reflections you're supposed to get, and that was what inspired me to like go head first into it. Yeah. So that's what allowed me to do stop motion. When like inspired me to do it in a whole. And then of course getting into the community and finding way more like-minded people that do the same thing. So I'll either start off with like a sheet with just like you said ideas, uh, stuff for say warfare everything that I need to happen for that episode, like major plot points I'll write out. That, and then that'll guide me throughout the entire script, making sure I just fill in those plot points with dialogue and that they are cohesive with the story. Get inspired to tell a story. Once that story is being uh, built, I come through and uh, I say, okay, this is what most people would do. I'm gonna be inspired by the comics as far as where these characters are driven and then making my own spin on. So using that as inspiration from multiple fights, multiple different series and TV shows, and using that as a um, a sort of a guide, and then taking deviations along the way to make it more original and not exactly cookie cutter as you would expect it. And do you see yourself continuing to make stop motions in the future? Yeah, I would love to, especially for like Leica. That'd oh yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That would be so, so cool. And then, and that's a career base too. So like, if that were to be an, an option for me in the far future or even presently, shoot, taking that right away. Like, it's a way to make um, your hobby into a career, which should be, I feel like should be everyone's goal. Like, no one should really want to do a job that they really don't want to do, you know? it's not a good way to live life so uh i i've met too many people made too many friends walk away from it and without stop motion i would not have had that that activity and the, and the power of the internet like even talking to you I, I didn't know there were so many people that uh that enjoyed it as much as like yeah, you you see a number you see a comment, that's one thing, but to see face to face and like, no, like I genuinely like stop motion. I do stop motion. This is 
this is something that I have passion for. Like, yeah, if it's stepping on the outside of it and like this is just a, a, a tool for me to get to another spot, then yeah, that's cool too. But um, yeah, I've met too many people and just to to walk away from it. For me, I can't I can't speak for me. I can't. I can't. So that is the art of stop motion. Uh, honestly, it's just like filmmaking. Some steps are similar, some are different. Some are very different, but anybody can do it. All it takes is just practice, patience, and dedication. And honestly, I just, I just love doing it. Um, and honestly, the people that watch my videos just are the ones that push me to keep making them. You know, all that hard work and just late nights. Uh, there are times that I feel like, you know, still giving up. I still have those feelings where I like, do I still want to do this? There's the people that take the time to watch my animations and give me positive feedback to just make it all worth it in the end. But yeah, that's that's why I keep doing it. So that's it. This has been JCO4 here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.